Benevento has a glorious memory, thanks to its noble, artistic and religious heritage. An admirable fusion of the Samnite, Roman and Germanic civilizations. It is proof of social devotion, a mix of art, faith and history. Tourists are welcomed by the so-called Rocca dei Rettori, the administrative seat of the papal governors. The cathedral is dedicated to the most holy Mary of Assumption and is full of precious spirituality. It was the first temple to witness the arrival of Christianity in the town, and among its bishops it is proud for having had St. Januarius, a saint honoured by all the inhabitants of Benevento. Here the remains of Apostle St. Bartholomew are worshipped. They were brought here by Lombard Prince Sicardo when the population was converted to Christianity by St. Barbatus. The battles, mythological characters, knights and amazing animals that you can see in St. Sophie's Cloister represent man's knowledge, the frenzies of our fears and hopes, and the passing of time is visible in the pictures of agricultural works. Each decoration that links the arches and columns, called a pulvinus, is the essence of human knowledge concerning the earthly and the divine. They are in contrast with the peace and silence of the cloister and celebrate a perennial invitation to recollection. The monks, closed within the monastery walls, contemplated the creation to understand the universal mystery. The cloister is a protection and salvation monument in these places, where Prince Areki put its capital and continuous battles claimed many lives. Its name indicates a good wish, it means good wind, and was attributed by pagan Rome to replace the previous name, Maleventum meaning bad wind. However, its true strength came from New Rome, the Christian one, that transmitted the good news of the gospel. 